into Death in the Vargas. Mm. Yeah, that's possible too. I mean, you don't play around silence then, and you can lose the game because of that. But I'm not sure. I mean, that's... silence could just silence the Malganis anyway, right? Oh, yeah, right. So it, make, it makes no difference. True. Look at that. There might be a deck without the Mysterious Challenger at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious because there's. No, why would we play Repentance in a deck with a Mysterious Challenger? Yeah. It makes no sense. Sense, right? Uh... We'll just play quality then. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I'm pretty sure this is just a, a rough draw and, and both of his challenges are in the in the bottom 10 or so. Um, probably has slightly less cards than left than 10, actually, having Divine Favorite so heavily twice. Wait, he didn't attack, right? Hmm? You al we already saw one Molten Giant, and yep. he didn't opt to attack with the two minions on board. Mm -hmm. That's really weird. That is a bit strange, yeah. Because usually when you saw one, you just go for face. Because if he would have had two in his hand, he would have played two, mm -hmm. and he only did draw two cards from that turn when he played the Molten Giant. Yeah. Uh, sorry, one, one turn. Because last time he played Mo um, Hillbot. Uh, but he drew a card with the mortal coil, though, right? But that was before Hillbot. Before Hillbot, yeah, yeah, you're right. He yeah. tapped after Hillbot. Yeah. So that, okay, so two cards, but that's like a really slim chance. And now he has wow. four, five, nine, nine damage, eleven damage. Knife juggler must have. Yeah, might might potentially might, lethal. That could have been lethal if you were to attack last turn, but then probably Kaldi uh, would have toned it up. So. Mm. Mm. I don't know. It's hard to say, but yeah, right now board for three minions. That doesn't seem likely. Yep. Especially since one of those minions needs to be the knife juggler. By the way, guys, just reminding you, if you have, want to have a five minutes of fame on the stream, remember to tweet uh, with inclusion of the hashtag ABUSGT and with a comment about the tournament. So then we, you will appear on the tweet on, sc on screen. Um, so he is going to go for the muster play, but he's going to use it as a, a ball clearing tool instead of trying to make a push for lethal. There was no real potential lethal push there, and it looks like he may have roped. No, nope, looks like the animations are just queued up, and all right, fine. But still, uh, Malganis on board is just going to be lethal for Caldi, especially with yep. that, uh, that Doom Guard draw off the top. So what do you think about this game? Could have been then done something different by Fontep to prevent this? It's interesting, right? Because you talked about, you know, the diverging worlds in the last turn, where if he'd have been more aggressive, we would have seen Calvi mm -hmm. taunt. So, you know, sure, you can say, oh, he might have had lethal. Um, but it's hard to say, because if he'd have been more aggressive, he would have um, caused his opponent not to tap. And he might have been going for that, uh, sorry, uh, caused his opponent to taunt. And he might have been going for that exact line where maybe Cal 